Hey everyone, we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I am playing some Xenosog episode 3. Oh, fine. Also, Sparak Zarathustra? Still cannot pronounce that for shit. <laughs> I do know a very little amount of German, but. This is the closest to a date you'll ever get, Alan. <laughs> oh, they got crepes! I want crepes! Love crepes. Mm, it feels good out here. Love crepes. I love the night air. Yes, this area is under environmental protection, so there's a lot of trees and plants. Not enough! <laughs> Needs I'm more plants. I'm sorry about our dinner plans for tomorrow. I didn't mean to substitute it like this. In something! Please don't worry about it. The location wasn't important to me. Anyway, this kind of atmosphere is much more valuable. <laughs> that face! <laughs> that face on him! <laughs> atmosphere? Oh, no, just talking to myself. It's reasons like that why I have my webcam in this weird position halfway down the screen so you guys can always see both of the, like, the character expressions during these scenes. <laughs> no, hot, hot! Oh! Did you just drop oh, your food? Sorry. Did you just drop a crepe? Did you just waste a fucking crepe, Alan? Blasphemy! It's alright. We almost wasted a magnificent dinner. Nom crap. Crepes. Nom nom crepes. It's just prosciutto. Prosciutto crepes? Definitely look like a crepe wrap. <laughs> Come on. A single thought can change the world. Can it though, Shion? Even fast food can become an elegant dinner. Also, crepes are awesome. Oh. Huh? I just had deja vu. Kevin used to like eating outside too. Did you eat together with him a lot? <laughs> Poor Alan is like, I don't want to hear about your bo your ex boyfriend. Your dead boyfriend. Yeah. I was new, so he always treated me. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Poor Alan. Hi, Kanan. How you doing, Kanan? <gasps> Kanan's alone. This is gonna end well. How long do you intend to hide there? Dark twos! Nice boots. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised I can't sneak up on you. Also, Dark twos can be invisible. What do you want? I'll cut to the chase. Who are you? I believe I gave you my personal data some time ago. I'm not interested in that painted over information. Huh. I want to know what you were originally made for. Also boob window. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, are you going to pretend you don't know? Yeah, he actually doesn't, Doctus. <laughs> program Canaan, a surveillance program listed in the records of top secret vector data. It's programmed into your mind. Dun dun dun! Program Kanan. You're bluffing. That keyword doesn't exist in my database. But your name is Kanan. Kanan. <laughs> Are you going to play dumb? What is it you're trying to hide so badly? Wait. Hold on. I really don't know. It's like, I really don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> there really is a program with that name? So... They kept its functionality secret, even from yourself. All right, I'll believe you. Here's the information, dude! What's this? It's partial data on Program Kanan we obtained from Vector. If you want to confirm its validity, you'll have to do it yourself. <laughs> okay, Doctus. Oh, and one warning. Even if you weren't aware of the program's existence, it still affects your behavior. If you interfere with us, even if it isn't by your own will, we won't hesitate to eliminate you. Okay. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Just drops this bombshell on poor Kanan and then gets the fuck out. <laughs> oh, Dark <Doctus>. Zeus. <laughs> I kind of wish Doctus had been in the other games, really. <sighs> because I do like Doctus as a character. Looks like it's about time. I'd better hurry to the spaceport. Again, she still doesn't know about Cosmos. 
Nobody has informed her about Cosmos. <laughs> oh, Jeebus. Nobody. Alan hasn't told her. Yuli hasn't told- Miyuki hasn't told her? Miyuki probably knows. <laughs> Seeing as Miyuki already, um, fucked things up by telling her about Cosmos. I mean, telling her about Cosmos, um, the, the, the first time earlier in the game. Granted, I can kind of understand why Miyuki wouldn't tell her if she did know about Cosmos getting trash dumped. Because, um, everybody is always picking on Miyuki? <laughs> I could sort of see her just getting some payback by just... Yeah. <laughs> okay, spaceport is this way. Gotta go... Wait a minute. The Elsa's been gone for at least a couple days. Hopefully they have a stockpile of food. <laughs> I don't think I've ever thought of that before. <laughs> Do have to talk? Just, oh, okay. <laughs> it opens on down. All the way up to the spaceport. Gotta go to the Durandal. Whee. I'm not tired. I'm maybe a little tired. <laughs> That girl has fairy wings. This girl has fairy wings. Why do you have fairy wings? No, I don't care about the mom. I want to know why the kid has fairy wings. Okay, fine. Hey, look at the Durandal, that phallic ship. The phallic ship has docked. I repeat, the phallic ship has docked. Now we must enter the phallic ship. Seriously. The Durandal is very phallic. Momo! And Ziggy! Ayo! And Junior, obviously. Hey, Shion! You're looking well! Looks like you're all doing good, too. Shion. Jin! <laughs> it's her broski. Jin? Oh, come on, are you surprised? That's right, I completely forgot you were with them. Is that any way to greet the brother you haven't seen in a while? But she's a little pissed at you, Jen. <laughs> Everyone else is already here. You know, you really should be a little more punctual. Yes, yes, everyone's here now, right? Let's get started. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit, Xion. Nope, still a bitch. <laughs> Yuli and the others are waiting. This way. Again, nobody's told her about Cosmos. Gian, Even Miyuki's there. Have you heard about Cosmos? Cosmos? No. What's going on? Committee member Mizrahi. I'll tell her. Chief. They've decided to scrap Cosmos. Scrap? You can't be serious. Mm, yep. I'm afraid it's true. They made the decision yesterday. Cosmos. I understand how you feel, but there's no time to get depressed. I want you to listen carefully to what I'm about to say, and then make a decision. Dun dun dun! Hmm? First, take a look at this. Now you'll get an explanation for why- For, uh, why the Elsa- You know, why Chaos wouldn't answer your question about the Elsa, Shion! <laughs> it's a hypersphere that appeared during a battle with Ormus. The Elsa was swallowed by it! Right, and now this hypersphere is beginning to shrink. It'll likely continue to shrink to plank scale size and then disappear from this dimension. It's like they're baby size. Yeah. <laughs> That's super baby what size. To the Elsa? At this rate, it will be taken into phase space along with the hypersphere. If that happens, it'll be impossible for us to rescue them. And you know, they'll die, probably. <laughs> if we don't break through this hypersphere, we can't rescue the Elsa. But weapons on the Durandal or ESs don't even make a dent. The surface of that hypersphere is connected to imaginary space. Okay. <laughs> Ordinary attacks are useless against it. Its only weak spot 
is a part called the Klein Point. If we can pierce that point with a high output weapon and reverse the space, then perhaps... You've got to be kidding me! How the hell can we do that? Don't interrupt her, Junior! Oh, Cosmos! Cosmos' space transfer unit! Exactly. Cosmos' tertiary weapon system may be able to break through that hypersphere. But Cosmos has been slated for scrap. How are we supposed to do this? We're gonna heist her. <laughs> Besides, there's no way we'll get permission to use the tertiary weapon system. We're gonna heist it. Hmm. Yes, that's why I've gathered you all here. Cosmos is currently awaiting disposal inside the Zohar Project facility. You're planning to steal Cosmos? Goddamn right we are! <laughs> there's no other way to rescue the Elsa. I'll guide you during the infiltration, but it'll still be dangerous. Mm -hmm. It'll be up to you to decide. All right, I'll do it. <laughs> Does no hesitation. It is her daughter's can't sister. Just abandon the Elsa's crew or Cosmos. Shia. Yeah, I guess if we do him a big favor now, we'll be able to make use of it later. Damn it, Junior. <laughs> then it's settled. We don't know how long the hypersphere's shrinking will last. We need to begin immediately. We move tonight. Right. Let's get ready and- Passes out again. What do you want to bet? Oh! Oh! Chief? Nope, just a headache. You all right? Yes, I'm fine. Sheehan? <sighs> there she goes! <laughs> Chief! Sheehan! Her eyes are still open. The eyes on her character model are still open. I never would have noticed that in the PS2 version. Alan comes out of the Jin. void. <sighs> you look tired. I'll take over now. Please get some rest. No, I'm fine. I'm more interested in hearing the results of her examination. I'm sure that'll end well. Even the medical staff here doesn't know what caused her collapse. Jin knows! They say it's probably exhaustion or something. No, Jin knows. He's just not telling. <laughs> she collapsed once at the hotel, too. She seems to have been busy lately, so maybe that's it. I see. <laughs> Jin knows. <laughs> Up. How are you feeling? I'm sorry for worrying you. Are you still working with Scantia? Oh, you're new. Of course he did. Alan said you've been busy. I figured that might be it. Ever since you were little, you'd rush forward without stopping once you've set your mind on it. <laughs> and never heeded my advice. Or anybody else's for that matter. <laughs> you're quite correct. Well, it's all right, as long as you're healthy. <laughs> yeah, okay, Jen. <laughs> ah, he left something. Mm, herbal remedy? <laughs> he left her tea. Aww. You could have just handed it to me, you know. That's not Jen's style, Shion. You're her sister. You're his sister. You should know that. <laughs> Are you feeling all right? Yes, I just needed some rest. I feel great now. Sure, you collapsed twice in the space of less than 24 hours, Shion. <laughs> There's something I wrong. <laughs> hmm? I think anyone would. You've been true to your beliefs after you resigned from Vector, after the Gnosis terrorism. I don't know. I mean, I'm not even really sure myself. Okay. And here I am. Still doing the same thing I always have done. Not asking or thinking whether what I am doing is right or wrong. Are you regretting your participation in the development of Omega? Maybe. It's a weapon with absolute power and no clear objective. And yet I'm participating in its development so I can prove myself to society. To clear the shame from the name Mizrahi. About that. <laughs> 
Do you think Cosmos's very existence is dangerous too? Xion, Cosmos isn't a weapon. It's probably yes! strange for a scientist to say this. Yes, she is, because we're literally going to heist her to use her as a weapon to break through the hypersphere. You have... You're wrong. She can be both a weapon and a person. <laughs> but I have a feeling that Cosmos possesses something very important. Yeah, a weapon. Something sort important. Of. Unlike the human-based Reallians, Cosmos is composed entirely of machines. How much real difference do you think there is between the bundles of protein that make us and the machines that compose her? Quite a lot, actually. <laughs> We're both a wave that make up this universe. The only difference is the number of ripples. And Cosmos doesn't have to eat. I think if we have hearts and minds, then it's evident that she would have them as well. And I'm pretty sure she doesn't have to, you know, shit either. <laughs> do you think Cosmos possesses a heart? No! Not a physical one! The biology major in me is like, no, she doesn't. Because she doesn't have a vascular system. <laughs> Isn't that what you wish? Maybe, but maybe not. I don't know what your thoughts and intentions were when you built her. But no matter what happens, I want you to believe in Cosmos. And more than anything else, you must believe the person who built her. Yourself. The person who sort of built her. That's your duty as her creator. Co-creator. <laughs> Again, the whole black box thing with Cosmos. Did Uli head back to the facility? Yeah, she's literally like down the hall, Junior. You could probably catch up to her. Yes. Oh, hey, there's she Dinah. She said she's going to get things ready for our infiltration. That's the name of Xion's ES craft over there. Okay, we should get started too. There's not much time. Stock up on anything you'll need. Let's meet in the lobby of Xion's hotel. We won't look suspicious meeting in town, and it's close to the facility. Is that okay with you, Xion? Sure, that's fine. This is gonna okay, end well. Okay, let's get moving! I finally don't have to be Xion anymore, yes! <laughs> going to be going to the thingamabob with the stuff. Oh, damn, I only have Xion in the party still. <laughs> okay. I guess we have to get down to the hotel before I can finally stop running around as Xion. Though I do like this outfit of hers the most out of the, any of the ones in the series. It's not it's not a real Xenosaga game unless I'm running around as Cosmos. I mean, we can't do that yet because we have to go rescue Cosmos first. But I can run around as Junior or something. Or Chaos. Or Momo. I really like Momo's outfit in this game. It's really cute. It's really cute with much less of the, uh, her design in this game has much less of the low-key Lolita tendency of the ones in the first game and sort of second game. It's much classier. And, uh, less panty shots as far as I remember. I still can't believe they have multiple panty shots in the first fucking game. Oh, Japan. Oh, Japan. Oh, Japan. You're so Japan. Do, do, do. My little girl. Okay, bye bye. This is gonna go well. Hi, Alan. How you doing, boy? Chief, before you go to the Consolidated Advanced Technology Testing Ground, I have some information for you. Information? What is it? It's not that I don't trust Miyuki, but I know what that place is like. I'll give It'll give us an advantage in battle in case we wind up having to fight. Okay. Oh, it's a skill tree shit. Blah, blah, blah. It's much more dumbed down in the first one. You have two... You have two skill lines. You know, this one is very attacky for Xion, and they're each different by character, I believe. And this one's very magic-y. Yeah. This one's, like, very physical. This one's very magic -y. Yeah. Yeah, I got 20 skill points. <laughs> also, Chief, I've sent this mission to your database, blah, 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 blah. Can I, can I go now, please? I can't go. I'm using the waggle tech. I can't go. Okay, bye bye Doo -doo 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 -doo. 
Do do. I kind of find it kind of funny that that leads to directly to her room and not to a hallway. You think the elevator would go to a hallway that you then open a door to get to her room? Okay. Um. Was I supposed to meet here? <laughs> I distinctly remember needing to meet here. Uh, I said to meet here. Do they mean not the actual hotel? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> or the hotel room. <laughs> Oop. Oops, Daisy. Maybe I have to talk to Alan again. Alan! Wait. Hold on, I'm blowing up all the scenery. Boom! Boom! Because there's items in it. <laughs> For some reason. Okay, hi, Alan. She's going to go and fade to the blah, 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 blah. You should be helping us out on site. I think it'd be best if we don't leave the hotel together. They'll cut down dragging attention. Is that all right? Yes. I'll wait for nightfall until the start of the mission. Dun dun dun! Do 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 do. We're all chilling. So. Everyone ready? I do have to say, this game also has the best designs for the main cast. I mean, look at Junior's outfit. I, I love his outfit. I love everybody's outfit in this game. Alan's never changes. He's still wearing the Vector uniform in all of the games, but <laughs> he's still a cinnamon bun. Listen, we're going up against an important facility of the Galaxy Federation military. They'll attack intruders without stopping to ask questions, so stay on your toes. <laughs> so let's send the little 14 year old girl in. I mean, Momo's not 14. It's complicated. She's technically like 28 or 29. Just like Junior, but they're both physically 14. It's complicated. <laughs> hey, I know that facility well, better than anyone else here. Okay, no, I guess technically Momo's 14, but she was born 14 and it's been 14, 14, 15 years, 15 years. Again, that's complicated. <laughs> I know. I'm counting on you. Just realians don't age because they're not exactly human. Chief. Sorry to interrupt your tender moment, but we don't have much time. Let's get going. Shion, over here. Come on, hurry. Hey, hey, not so loud. Do you want them to find us? Well, they obviously probably clocked the fact that the tram was coming towards it. So, is everything ready? Yep, all set. I tweaked the security, so you've got a free pass inside. I hope you didn't make any mistakes this time. Damn it, Shion! Oh, come on, you can trust me. You're the one who told me not to do anything dangerous and then asked me to help you. There wasn't anyone else I could ask. Then don't freak. <laughs> Again, Miyuki has a really good point here. Shion went to Miyuki for help with the heist and is now like, I hope you didn't screw up. <laughs> what about Doctus? You could have asked Gientia. They're busy with something else. Besides, this is our own problem. I can't ask them to help with this. Aha, I knew it. You're only using me because there's no one else. Accurate. <laughs> Hey, stop laughing! So, how do we get in? <laughs> the main gate is sealed, isn't it? Can we go around it? Don't worry, we can get in by using the monocarrier below. Mm -hmm. We'll also use the transporters within the facility. As for the route, first we'll head from deck number two to the exercise area. See, <laughs> there's gotta be cameras. Like, <laughs> all of these, Alan should at least get fired for this. <laughs> Past that is a transporter on deck number five. That'll take us to the research wing where Cosmos is. Sure. Right. Just leave the rest to me. I've got something up my sleeve just in case we get caught. 
and I'll even help fight against any guards you may happen to run into. <laughs> Your job is to make sure we don't get caught. Please don't screw this up, Miyuki. Again, Shion <laughs> is an <laughs> asshole. Hey, I said stop laughing. No, no, they're laughing at Shion. They're not laughing at you, Miyuki. You and Alan are both cinnamon buns. It's fine. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we have blah 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 Miyuki. Uh, Miyuki is taking the pl essentially taking the place of Cosmos. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm just it's just gonna just, just just gonna just gonna yeah. <laughs> Wait, yeah. <laughs> um, actually, yeah. And what's the button? Oh right, there we go. <laughs> Everything is right with the world. <laughs> I am no longer Shion. <laughs> Oh good, we finally have an EVS plate. I won't be doing anything on that on screen. That'll be stuff for off screen. Did I save over my fucking file again? Oops. Oh well. <laughs> I'll just save here. <laughs> for some reason I'm really bad at this game and saving over the wrong damn file. Mm, actually, this is a pretty good place to end it because I keep going over on timing with this game because of how long the cutscenes can be. So, my name is Miss Scarlet Tanager and I have been playing some Zeno Saga Episode 3. I'll see you all!